Firefighters are gearing up for another busy night following what crews are calling one of the most dangerous 4th of July holidays they've ever seen. Last night, city firefighters and police teamed up to respond to calls of illegal fireworks and investigators say the dangerous explosives forced a Southwest Bakersfield couple out of their home. 23 ABC's John Genovese joins us live from a neighborhood near White Lane and Old River with more. Amanda, that couple was asleep when fire officials say debris from illegal aerial fireworks landed on their roof. Take a look. You can see those dried out wooden shingles. We're told they quickly caught on fire. Now tonight, some of their neighbors may be the reason they escaped the incident uninjured. As the city sky exploded with colorful sights and sounds, thick smoke billowed from this southwest Bakersfield home that crews say fell victim to an out of hand celebration. We were driving down uh, Appleton Way and we noticed the house was on fire. The we was him and his girlfriend. Brett Blackburn told us they quickly stopped their car, then with another neighbor ran up to the fiery house. We went up to the door, started banging on the door, woke him up and got him outside. A move that allowed Greg Mathis, his wife and their dog to escape the blaze uninjured. And then I got the water hose, the one guy went on that side and I went to back, got the ladder, put it on the house, started on that side. Today, this side is now the site of what for the couple has become a burned and blackened burden. Fire crews say flames spread inside the home, causing around $225,000 worth of damage. According to arson investigators, illegal aerial fireworks are to blame, with charred remnants discovered in the debris. They ought to be responsible for what they did. Step up to the plate. Whoever did it knew know who did it. This was the worst year. It was like a war zone out here. The windows were rattling. It was really, really bad. Beth Hill has lived in the home next door for 11 years and told us she was told to leave herself. I got my um, daughter, my dogs, got in my van and parked out front and just waited and watched. Waiting and watching a fire that if not for some fast thinking neighbors could have quickly taken a turn for the worse. I don't consider myself a hero now. I just consider that doing the right thing. And we're told the couple is staying with family members tonight and that the inside of their home is heavily damaged. And fire crews tell us they responded to 12 fire fireworks related fires last night and they were gearing up for a similar scenario tonight. For now, Amanda, back to you.